So this is an SM58 microphone. As you can see, this one's got a little bit of a dent in it. Actually, it's got a lot of bit of a dent in it. It's pretty much, pretty much smashed. <laughs> Good thing is, is uh, they won't do any real permanent damage to these mics. Unscrew the tops off, and then I'll usually take and uh, pull the foam out. Set the mic down somewhere so I don't accidentally drop that and wreck it worse than it already is. Let's see how mushed out that is. You can't push that thing out with your finger. I've tried it before. So, and one better. Just an old rake handle, broomstick, what have you. And then just put it right up onto the edge. You can put your whole weight on that thing. It's these pieces of mesh in here, well, not pieces of mesh, the whole thing's mesh, but it's super tough. That's why usually when these things dent after getting uh, getting knocked onto the floor a little bit, doesn't do any damage to them. Makes them look a little uglier. I mean, I can lift myself right off the ground with this thing. Although I might break the, uh, might break the wooden post, I'm not going to damage this thing. And you should just work it all the way around. I don't know if you, how well you're actually able to see that or not. Probably not super well. Good enough. Invert my foam again. If there's anything on there, uh, now's the time to get it off there. Get my foam back in there again. Got to make sure it's not inside the threads. Got to mush it all the way around so that it's inside and not going to touch the, uh, the head of the mic. There, that's pretty nice. Back to the other. And she's ready for rock and roll again. <laughs>